STEMI is a form of heart attack. It stands for ST elevation acute myocardial infarction. So not all heart attacks or STEMIs or, or are created equal. When someone has a STEMI, it's the type of uh, acute MI uh, or heart attack that is very serious. It typically indicates there is an artery that has an acute occlusion. There is a, there's, there's an emergency associated to it. And those are the uh, situations in which uh, time is incredibly important. The typical presentation of a heart attack in general, whether it's a STEMI or a non-STEMI, is usually chest pain, some form of chest discomfort. It can be a precordial chest pain, it can be a jaw pain, it can be a pain moving from the chest to the arm. Uh, it can be sometimes an epigastric pain or abdominal discomfort uh, associated with the chest. It can be shortness of breath. It can be profound fatigue. The typical process is someone develops symptoms, but you call 911, so EMS will come to your house. They will do an emergency EKG and they will see on the EKG most likely the changes consistent with the STEMI. In our institution, we are allowing the EMS services to activate what's called the STEMI protocol, which is a protocol that when the person calls 911, the STEMI code is activated from the field, and that person is transported directly by the ambulance to our institution or to an helipad if it's one nearby, so the patient can be air flown to, to our hospital. They go straight to the cardiac catheterization laboratory, then there will be a the cat lab team, including the interventional cardiologist like me, and we were expecting the patient to come because we're all activated at the same time. So we know the patient is coming, we know what the issues are, we know what the problem is, and we are typically takes literally a few minutes to set the patient up in the cat lab. We put a, a catheter on the groin or on the wrist, and we go in with catheters and we take pictures of the coronary arteries and we find the blockage and open it up. And then most patients receive a stent and that basically concludes the whole protocol, which is the goal of the whole protocol. There are some known potential complications of a heart attack, can be mechanical complications, there can be some ruptures or some structures of the heart. It can be electrical complications like a rhythm issues that can happen. Uh, during the heart attack or immediately after. So they are observed under a high level of care during the first usually 24 hours. And after that, 24, 48 hours, um, if the patient responds well, we usually downgrade to uh, intermediate care or telemetry bed. And after that, the patient typically goes home. STEMI is a serious problem and no every center has the same expertise dealing with STEMIs. Our uh, CAT lab and STEMI program, uh, we are accredited by the American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association as a PCI center with resuscitation. So we have shown the highest level of care performing PCI, which is the percutaneous coronary intervention by which we open the arteries and put a stent, and resuscitation, which is another piece, which is the, uh, the ability by our EMS, ER, and inpatient care to resuscitate patients that are really, really sick. We have the highest possible level of expertise. You have a heart attack, whether it's a mild heart attack or a massive heart attack, time is muscle. The sooner you open that artery, the more heart muscle you save. And, and that translates into life expectancy. If the heart muscle is perfused quickly, uh, that person will live longer.